What's happening in Vancouver real estate in February, 2023? We're now in the midwinter market here in Vancouver, and there's a lot going on out there with the interest rate hikes, the new foreign buyer ban, and the cooling off period, which just came into effect. But I'm gonna keep this video short and outline only three things that will give you a good general understanding of where the market's at right now. So number one is sales are low. We're actually sitting at the lowest monthly sales we've seen in 13 years. We ended off January with 1,035 sales. So the last time we actually saw less sales than that in a month was January of 2009. If we look at average numbers. Last month's sales were 42.9% below the 10-year average for the month of January. So there are a lot of reasons for this, but the main culprit is the interest rate hikes that the Bank of Canada has implemented over the last year, which has driven up the cost of borrowing and decreased how much buyers can actually get approved for, which has pulled a lot of people out of that buying pool altogether. So looking forward, the Bank of Canada has indicated that they're going to take their foot off the gas in terms of interest rate hikes for the foreseeable future. So the rest of this year could be seen as an opportunity if you're in the market for a property. Think of it this way, rates are temporary, but the price is permanent. So if you're able to find a property now and lock it up at a lower purchase price, you can just refinance once the rates go down in the future. Number two, inventory is also relatively low for this time of year. So just like sales numbers, inventory tends to follow a cycle, peak being in the spring and summer months, and the lows being in the winter. As of last month, we were sitting at just under 7,400 homes on the market. And if we look at some historical data here, you can see that in December of 2021, we had around 5,500 homes listed. And the winters of 2016 through 2018 were similar to today's inventory levels. So we're not at record breaking lows, but we could definitely use some more inventory. Number three is prices have come down from their peak back in early 2022. But how much? This is the question that I get from buyers all the time, wondering if now's a good time to get into the market. And the answer is it totally depends. It depends on the area that you're looking in and the type of property. So whether that's a condo, townhome, or a detached home, because it varies quite a bit. So we're gonna take a look at four different areas here. Vancouver West, North Van, Burnaby, and Coquitlam. So of these four areas, North Van and Coquitlam saw the largest reduction in home price index from the peak back in March and April of 2022. So if we average these four areas out, we're sitting at a 12.8% decrease in home prices. Now again, it's important to keep in mind that this will vary a lot depending on the type of property and even the specific neighborhood you're looking at. But overall, it's safe to say we've seen a fairly significant decline in prices since earlier in 2022. Thanks for watching this update and don't hesitate to reach out if you have any questions about the market in Greater Vancouver. See you next time.